Ravensthorpe, an island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire seems... Troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree. I've always found peace there in the past. Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. What do you have today?
Take care of it. I'll see you later, friend. You go on, I'll still be here. I would like to see what you have in stock. You have a keen eye for quality. I can get you that one easy. I do good work, I must say. I'm off. Be well, friend. Evil. Petra. Sorry, Petra, but I am already with someone. I... I knew that. I was expecting that. What a fool I am. It's all right. Everything is fine. If anything, I'm flattered. Well, at least you know how I feel about you. If anything... Hey, 
give a wolf kiss, is that you? Do I know you? You were too young to remember me, but I stayed with your household many years ago. This is for you. The mead horn of Suttunger. How is this possible? Can you conjure things from dreams? Yes, it's only a model. I fashioned it from a story told to me by your father, but since he's dead, I offer it to you. It is exactly like I saw it. In my head. As Varen described it to me. Have you made other things from stories? Only if the storyteller is very good. Your father was. He would have made a good scald. Could you do it from dreams or visions? Bring something into this world from another? Not all dreamers speak. And fewer yet speak clearly. Seers talk too much and cloud your vision with... What's this about bringing things into this world from another? Mm, more like uh, imagining it into our world. When I have the image, its design speaks to me in a language I do not know, and yet understand. This is Sutumer's meat on Valka, from Jotunheim, as Varen described it to him. I do not like this business of trafficking in visions. But if it revives good memories of your father, there may be value in it. I will bring you a potion that will let Eivor dream and speak clearly. If you take advantage, your death will be painful. Nah, you need not go to so much trouble. You could give me the recipe. I will bring you a potion. Do not dig too deeply. We do not know the true cost of this. There'll be no cost to the gods. You heard him. He does not take things from their realms. He imagines them, then crafts them. Not the cost to the gods. To you. I will get the workshop ready. Come by when you want to get started. I need your eyes, my friend. Sunan, guide me.
favor. Favor of the Raven Clan. The Eye of Odin will serve our purpose. I have discovered the secret of the Eye. What can you mean? It is one thing to look upon it, but quite another to listen. It will sing to you, Wolfkist. It will sing of treasure. You speak in riddles. Take it. Hold it close. Go to the coast of East Anglia. Once there, follow the song. You will see. I am to listen to an eye with my ears. <laughs> I fear you mock me. There is no mockery. Go. You will understand. What see you, old friend? is overrun with mistletoe. When did that happen? Now let the sighing of the branches soothe me, and may all thoughts of chaos fade. Hurry! We are nearly there. Peace, Frick. It will do us no good to arrive at our enemy's doorstep exhausted. Suter has our son, fair Balder, fallen to treachery. Does that mean anything to you? It does. And Suter will pay a heavy price for it. We do not serve our cause by reckless haste. 
The tyrant of Muspelheim acts with purpose, and I would know the web he weaves before I'm caught in it. So speaks one who never nursed our babe at the breast, nor held him as he slept. You were warming your wife's bed while I nurtured your son. You were only too keen to send him to my care, and Freyas, when the call of adventure became too great to resist. Now dampen your heart fire. Captive he may be, there's nothing in the Nine Realms that can harm Valda. There is one thing. Pick up your heels. Baldur was too mighty to be captured by force. I sent Loki's hand in this. As do I. Yet still the wretch refuses to confess. That is why he waits in fetters for our return. Chained by my own hand, as I chained his son. As he has chained ours in turn. If he is truly conspiring with Suter, he will know my everlasting wrath. Will he, Harvey? Or will you forgive him once again, so he may wreak more misery upon us? You love your dear blood brother too well, when he has brought you nothing but pain. We have brought each other pain. Harvey, look! Burned. Their corpses left us food for the crows. A dark omen indeed. Come. There is no time to waste on the dead. We should have done more. We should have rallied the whole of Asgard when the Muspels invaded Svartalfheim. And you should never have let our son come here. He sought to prevent this war. Was that not a worthy goal? As for Asgard, the Builder's treasury was still fresh. We needed to rebuild, honor our dead. There was little appetite for further conflict. I recall you said the same when Sutor invaded Alfheim. Now the elves are no more. Now you dredge up ancient history? You should have intervened, Lord of Asgard. Then and now. Instead, Sutor has grown too bold, and our son may be the cost of it. Do not say so, Freak. We will find him yet. What have they done? The city lies in ruins. This is worse than I thought. They've put this land to flame and sword. Baldur. He is nearby, Harvey. I feel it. You feel it? The bond of mother and child. Something you will never understand. Now follow. Where is he? That way? Maybe this? These buildings stand hollow. No one is here. Then we have nothing to fear. There! Inside that house! He has been here. It is... so faint. Are you sure? Can't you tell? Come! He must have gone this way. That building! Hurry! I see no sign of Balder. No, but the essence of him lingers. It is stronger here than before. Do not slow, Harvey! We are on his trail! If this instinct is true, let us follow it further. Where are you, my son? If they have harmed a hair on your head... Keep faith, Rick! We'll find him safe. We'll see. This city broods beneath a cloak of uneasy silence. Where is the enemy? Concern yourself only with our son. He is close. I feel it now. His hair. It's as if he left but a moment ago. There may be other signs. Keep watch. I will look upstairs. 
What is this place? What happened here? My son, demon. He waits at my master's pleasure. There. But maybe not so fair as you remember. Bobby! More of them! Gorge your blade! You will burn, Asgardian! Stand in our way. Kill the others. Oh. Javi, here they come. Come on. Stop. Oh.
you must. It's been too long since you and I crossed blades. Then let's make this the final. Fated to die today. smell of death lingers in my nostrils. That 
was no mere dream. I must seek Malka's wisdom. Mistletoe.
The air hangs heavy around you, Eivor. You are troubled. I had another dream. A vision like the last. This one full of fire. Tell me. I saw the god, Baldr. Broken and beaten. Held captive by Sutor. I, I, I tried to save him. But I was defeated and left to die in a pit of corpses. When I awoke, I found this and the fold of my clothing. Baldur also dreamt of his own death. This tale I know. Afterwards, his mother Freyk visited everything, living or dead, and had them swear not to harm him. But she overlooked the mistletobus. And so fate had its way. Not all visions are premonitions, Eivor. But all hide wisdom, if we have the wit to see it. Drink this, if you would know more. Then go to the sacred circle behind my hut. There is more mistletoe there. Lay the mistletoe around the circle. Light it, and stand within. We shall see what your dream has to teach you. What is the meaning of this? Is this some part of your ritual? The flames grow ever closer! Ah! Valka! Would you burn me alive? If you would reach your dreams, Eivor, you must not run from the fire. You must be coming. <sighs> Well, Harvey's not well. 
A passing weakness. It's nothing. We should continue. Are you sure? We could rest a while. They kidnapped my son and murdered his mother. I will not rest till I repay these wrongs. Oh, forgive me. You lifted me from that fly-blown hell, set me on my feet again. You do not deserve my rage. And you do not belong among the dead. Not yet. Now come on. Your gift awaits. You still have not told me the nature of this gift, nor why you offer it. Its nature you will know soon enough. As to why, well, you have seen the suffering the Muspels brought to Svartalfheim. Fire and ruin and slaughter. They made wasteland of our green meadows and enslave those they didn't kill. They keep your people as slaves. Aye. Sortor works them for some dark purpose of his own. What that is, we don't yet know. We can't fight them, Javi. Our people are broken, forced into hiding. But now the tides of fate have washed the Lord of Asgard to our shores. I'm not your savior. I mean only to find my son and return him. Rid us of Surtur, and you might save us nonetheless. That is why we offer you our gift. Look upon the splendor of our halls, Javi. A sight to stir a careworn heart. In all the nine worlds, the crafters of Svatalfim have no equal. <sighs> a moose bell? Oh, hammer and tongs, they're here! They're looking for the gift. This dolt dares to steal a gift intended for me? Javi, you have to stop them. With pleasure. Keep back. I will deal with this. It must be around here somewhere. What are we looking for? I see nothing but stone. There should be a hidden catch. It's somewhere right about here. Take it, Lord of Asgard. Put it on. From the dwarves of Svartalfheim to you. This is a mighty gift indeed. Told you they'd like it. With this bracer, you can draw out the essence of fallen foes, steal their powers, and make them your own. Try it now on that moose spell you killed. I 
feel it. Fire charges my blood. Aye, but you'll need more of it before you can take on their powers. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. It's the Astier! Sound the alarm! Powerful incentive to kill the enemies of the dwarves. Aye, it's almost as if we planned it or something. The door's blocked! Barred from the other side! Calm yourself, Sparrowheart. Harvey will find us a way around. Let's be about our business quick. Where there's one more spell, there'll be others. Let them come. I have death enough for all. Spell's power and the lava did not harm me. What other gifts might this bracer grant me? They'll be here. I knew you could do it. Didn't I tell you, Seagram? Aye, sure. We never doubted for an instant. Javi, your brace's magic will run dry if you do not replenish it. Look around. See if there's something here that will help you to do so. We must hurry. If the enemy found these hidden halls, they can find the shelter. Shelter? A sanctuary. A secret hideaway. Only the dwarves know. When the invasion began, our people took refuge in such places. But the threat of discovery means we're always on the move. Holstein and I left our own shelter in search of resources. When we returned... Everyone was gone. Leaving nothing but a secret sign to show us how to follow. That shelter is somewhere nearby. We'd better find our companions before the moose bells do. Another door! Oh, my bones. What have we done to deserve this? Those flowers, like the shrine they call the razor. All their voices are but faint. The high one always finds a way, no matter the obstacle. Obstacle? It's just the doors ago. These flowers are useful when it comes to revitalizing my powers. in the fire sludge. It's everywhere. I will move that block nearer so we can make it across. Ooh. The moose 
crucibles in the fire sludge. It's everywhere. I will move that block nearer so we can make it. I will move that block nearer so we can make it across. I never will. You saved my life not so long ago. I will forever be in your debt. Harvey the Bracer? It allowed you to take on the guise of a Muspel. Then I shall use this new trick to my advantage. I will walk among them, yet not be one of them. Do you see those guards ahead? Well, why don't you approach as if one of them? Then give them a big, nasty surprise! Thought I heard the mewing of an Asir kitten. My husband should have stamped on you when he had the chance. But mercy is no flaw of mine. I will see red vengeance on all of you for what you have done. <laughs> and I will enjoy watching you fail. You should have stayed in Asgard. Quite well. Better than your woman, at least. Come at me, then! Let's finish this! Oh, I'll be back. I will hunt you to the far corners of the Nine Worlds. Treasure every moment, Javi. For death is at your heels. And you know not the hour it will find you! Shinmara! Damn you to hell! Mara, I never dreamed I'd see it. Fate has truly sent us a hero. Fate bends to my will. Now, show me to this shelter of yours. The sign they left us spoke of a hidden path. Look around in the woods. That will set us on our way. Mm. I feel great.
That symbol, a dwarf mark. It points the way to the shelter. Let's examine the map for any clues. See here, Javi. This is a map of Svartalfheim. You can see the shelter should be nearby. There are other shelters too. We only have a rough idea of their locations. But when you get close, you'll see the signs. I can't wait to see their faces when we arrive. Fimbar, Hro, Old Garot, and his dirty beard. Fimbar still owes me 20 silver from losing at cards. Bet he thought he'd got away with it, too. Remind me never to play you at cards. Ha! The day you part with a coin is the day the sky falls down. Another! We must be getting close! It's a hard path we walk, well hidden. Or else the Moose Bulls would find it. But day by day, they're learning to read the signs. And once that happens, no dwarf will ever be safe again. Where is the next sign? It should be here! Hidden, perhaps? Let's look around. then. He can't be far now. Follow me. Wait. Are you sure it's that way? Have a little faith, Halstein. I know what I'm doing.
We are getting closer. Are you sure about that? Yes. We should go left after the next sign. No, no. I'm certain it's to the right. You are mistaken, as usual. Follow my lead. I took a wrong turn. I told you, didn't I? Less haste, more care. Let's retrace our steps. Yes, yes. This is the right path. The sons of Ivaldi have steered us true. I see it now. Have a little faith, Halstain. I know what I'm doing, Halstain. Oh, shut your face. Who are these sons of Ivaldi you mentioned? Ivaldi is a name well known to me, but he never spoke of children. <laughs> yes, he was your slave once, wasn't he? Halstain. Oh, sorry. Perhaps slave wasn't the right word. Uh, your freedom deficient associate? The sons of Ivaldi are those who follow Ivaldi's teachings. We're not all male either, though you can be sure whoever came up with the name was. Ivaldi learned much from the Essier during his time in Asgard. Not least the value of being prepared for unexpected attack. After his return, we set up a network of shelters. Bolt holes in case of disaster. It's thanks to us there are any dwarves left free at all. If freedom's what you can call it. Speaking of which, First order of business is to find the chief and warn him about those moose spells. Else there'll be no one left for us to protect. Sigrun and Halstein! Well, slap my bollocks and call me an elf. You found us! And with all those moose spells on our doorstep. You know about the moose spells? Wouldn't be much of a chief if I didn't. Hope you didn't wear yourself out coming out to warn us. Actually, we kinda did. And who's this you've got with you? I am Harvey, called Wolfsbane. Raven Guard, the High One of Asgard. That right. They call me Brood. Our scratcher, snot snorter, he of the crusty toe. Javi is here because we have an enemy in common. Surtr has taken his son captive. He fought Sinmara to a standstill. I saw it. Surtr, eh? Any enemy of that oversized stack of hearth sweepings is a friend of mine. Come inside. You two, get some rest. Wait, Javi. Before you go, I have another gift. We would not have made it here without you. Nor I without you, my friends. I'd say we're even. Take this all the same. It's silica. Bring it to a blacksmith and they will put it to good use on your behalf. Thank you, Sigrun. And you, Halstein. May our paths cross again soon. Silica, you must have done something right. That stuff's rarer than hen's teeth these days. The moosebells. Aye, they seized the mines and now they guard them carefully. Bunch of overly flammable bastards. Still, if you ever need more, you're welcome to slaughter your way to one of their stockpiles. My son is in Sutter's clutches. I have no time for diversions. Might be you change your mind once you see it put to use. Let me show you our blacksmith. Ah, a sight for sore eyes. Salutations, Chief. Who's your friend here? They've got too many names to remember. All you need to know is 
They've got silica. And the bracer of such craftsmanship as makes my hammer arm weep with envy. That's a fine thing indeed. But maybe not so fine that it can't be enhanced somewhat. Any half-decent blacksmith should be able to help you improve it. Assuming you have the right materials, of course. Others here will be glad of a stranger's silver. Look around a while, if you like. You know my purpose. I have no time to tarry here. He asks for death who goes to battle unprepared. I'll see you at the entrance when you're ready. Back again so soon? It seems but a moment since I saw you last. It is said by your kind that time passes swiftly to the beat of hammer on anvil. Aye, and those who say it have never lifted a hammer in their lives. How can I serve? How came you to this place? Did you flee here when the invasion began? Ah, I know. I was here already, studying when the refugees started coming in. What is there to study here? Calico, porphyry, serpentine, banded gneiss, breccia, obsidian, silica, gold! Oh, friend, there is beauty in the earth. Here, in this secret place, we gathered all we knew of the thousand facets of Ymir, from whose body sprang all creation. I dreamed of learning fantastical techniques, of crafting armor with materials never before attempted. But that dream has died, I suppose, along with so many others. Such is fate. Any other way I can help? Until next time. I want to complain, but there is far too much work. That's the high one! We should get back to work. Svaladal awaits. Svaladal? We may have friends stranded up there. We cannot just leave them to die. We're not heroes, Sigurd. The road to Svaladal is long and treacherous. Have you forgotten already? We've run with the High One. We won't be running with the High One when we go to Svaladal! Fine. Have a rest. Eat something. And after, I will bend you to my will. in the nine worlds is that terrible stench. Oh, that. It's me. Have you considered taking a bath? You smell like someone vomited on a weak old carcass and then shat on it afterwards. No bath will cleanse the stench of shame. Are you here to trade? Or to add to my misery? Tell me of your shame. 
I was a warrior once. Head of the militia, charged with keeping law in our village. Then... the Moosemers came. My people looked to me to lead the defense, to give time for the others to escape. But when I saw them... You ran. I hid in the village cesspit. How long I lingered in that unspeakable filth, I'll never know. But when I emerged, it was all over. None survived that day. None but me. So I put away my axe forever and tried to make myself useful down here. But though I Drop my skin raw. The smell of that cesspit never leaves me. The mark of my cowardice. My curse. Now, leave for your own sake. Forgive me. I cannot stay here any longer. Looking good. Here to lend a hand. You know, you ain't the first stranger to come around here. A while back, our scouts saw a Jotun creeping about. Name of Hurricane. Hurricane? No doubt she flees the wrath of Sutunga and Gunlutha. Hers was not a name I expected to hear in this place. Her presence here may be an ill omen. Or it might mean nothing at all. You as guardians like to be vague, don't you? Walk with me now. Let's have some straight talk. One thing puzzles me. You cower in these holes like rabbits. Why not fight back? We fought at first. Fought hard. But they hit our leaders. Scattered us. Once they divided us, we were done. Then join together. Raise your axes and throw them off. That simple, eh? Look. We don't even know where the others are. 
The shelters were planned so that if one of us was caught, we couldn't give them all away. But you could find them, I'd wager. My business is with Suter and rescuing my son. You might have noticed that Suter can't be killed. Could be a problem. I will find a way. Or else I will seize what he values most and trade it for Baldur's freedom. Either way, you'll need our aid. You don't know an inch of this land. Listen, Harvey. I understand. This isn't your war. You just want your son back. But those moose spells on our doorstep, they ain't no joke. If they find us, we're dead meat. Thing about moose spells, though, is they love to fight amongst themselves. All that's stopping them is fear of Suter. Take out their leader. They'll tear themselves apart. Flee back to Muspelheim, most likely. And Swatilfheim will once again belong to the dwarves. Dwarves who will be very, very grateful to the one who delivered them. There's more gifts where that bracer came from. I make you no promise. I will seek out your shelters. Perhaps there I will find the means to save Baldur. Good enough for now. Welcome to Svartalfheim, Javi. From here, you're on your own. Have a look, Sudan. I should be cautious around here. What do you see, Sunan?
looks valuable. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Aid me, be my eyes. Say what? I'll put an arrow in the dog. You're mine. Stronger already.
breathes once more. I can use this to lessen the Wraith Bar's curse.
Shelter must be nearby. Asked about this lamp, my friend. A runic symbol. The shelter must be close. This points the way to a dwarven shelter. There's a shelter not far from here. The dwarves. <laughs> this way it will take me to the dwarves. be under a He has a child's innocence. I pray he has it still after all of this. These dwarves, dwarven markings. If I follow, they will lead me to a shelter. These dwarves, I need them. Though it chafes me to admit it. Be gracious, Harvey. 
Still alive, we wouldn't be stuck down here. Good day, Javi. Here for some of Rira's contracts? Come back anytime. Pretty please. You are always welcome. Ah, an outsider. Tell me, stranger. Have you seen any heaps of dwarven bodies piled high, moose spells reaving the land, ruined villages? Well, there have been... As I thought, the invasion is nothing but a fiction, dreamed up by our rich masters so they can add to their wealth. Well, two can play at that game. Many rare gems lie unguarded while we hide underground. Bring them to me, and I will see you well rewarded. You do not believe there has been an invasion? Control, young Aesir. It's all about control. If you aren't a shepherd, you're a sheep. But you could simply go outside and see for yourself. I don't need to. It's already plain as day. Well, don't tell me you've fallen for it too. The moosebells I've slain were no lie. And I've seen more dead dwarves than I can count. Oh no! Yeah, you're one of them, aren't you? Oh, spare me your falsehood, serpent tongue. The truth cannot be denied. I'll see what I can find for you. Working so hard that even McCallus' health blisters. If only King Raithmar was still alive, we wouldn't be stuck down here. Looking good. Another one. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'll be careful this time. Yes, no need to remind me. Though it was only a little blood. Who are you talking to? Shh, shh, shh. Can you hear us? <clears throat> I'm speaking to no one, good sir. Take a seat. Let me get my needles and blades. You found a new design for me. You spoke of voices when none are to be heard. Are you moon touched? Voices? <laughs> the very idea that crystals can talk and that they would be speaking to me. It is you who is mad for even suggesting it. I made no mention of crystals. Ah, that's because they don't talk to you. You're not special. I think you have been down here a very long time. What have you got for me today?
Anything else? I might just try elsewhere. You shouldn't be here. Why are you here? Oh, Anasya! Me or my! Oh, you won't fall out, were you? Songs of my deeds follow me. My enemies do not. Well, if you're sure. Not many know this place, not even the other dwarves. That's how we'd like to keep it. You prize your secrecy here, even more than other dwarves I've met. Well, of course. They'd only just discovered this place when the invasion began. Those of us nearby were herded in quick. Best thing we can do now is to keep our heads down. Don't need strangers going in and out, bringing who knows what to our door. I am no friend to Muspel or Jotun. Glad to hear it. See that it stays that way. Anything else? Speak up! Enough of this. Good day there! May fortune shine upon you as it has on me. <laughs> You're very light of heart, considering the plight of your people. Oh, it's a tragedy, no doubt. But life's about searching for that glimmer of gold. <laughs> I'm happier here than I ever was before. I would welcome a glad tale. There have been few enough of late. I'm a blacksmith. Good as any man. <sighs> But you try telling that to them up there. If you don't have hairy forearms and a beard, they'll go somewhere else. Business was bad. No one gave me a chance. Thought a woman's hammer toil was inferior. Those clod-brained dunces. Then, the invasion. We fled to this shelter, and I'm the only smith down here. Are they paying attention now? <laughs> you bet they are. The finest armor. The sharpest swords. They sing the praises of Elga the Smith now. <laughs> Just sad so many had to die for them to see it.
need anything else? Farewell. Anyone follow you? What are you doing here? <sighs> Who goes there? I am Harvey, Lord of Asgard. You. You're a long way from home. Or are the Asir now invading us as well, jailer of Ivaldi. <laughs> Ivaldi owes me his freedom. Where is he? I would speak with him. Be my guest. I assume you know the way to Helheim. He's... he's dead. How? How else? Or do you need both eyes to see the moose spells everywhere? That was uncalled for. I... Walk with me. I am Gundborg. Leader of this shelter, or what remains of it now Ivaldi has gone. He was trying to make contact with the other shelters. There was an ambush, Glot soldiers, and something else. Something worse. A creature of fire and fury. It... it devoured Ivaldi home. No doubt bred in Surtur's dungeons. Perhaps with Loki's aid, before I could make him my captive. You and your captives. Regardless, Uldar fell soon after Ivaldi did. Our mines and miners, any survivors now serve Glod. Is that name meant to mean anything to me? Glod is Sutar's bastard son, half Muspel, half Jotun. A nightmarish being, capable of tearing a dwarf in two. Your people will have vengeance. No. The people of Uldar are finished. And yet, Glad has not simply slaughtered your people. He needs your miners. To what end? The invaders hunger for secrets buried deep in the ground. Ancient relics. The Muspels place great importance in them. And how do you know this? Enough, Javi. We have suffered enough. Now I must endure all these questions. Aid me with your knowledge, and I shall strike a blow against Glad and all Muspels. In Ulnar, we had someone gathering information for us. The miner, Frithjofer. He's been silent for days now. We're just unlike him. Probably dead for all I know. Anything sought by the Muspels must be mine. Where was Frithjofer last seen? Perhaps I can find him. There is a house in Uldar, its owners killed by Muspels long ago. There we would exchange messages with him. This house? How do I find it? It's the tallest house in the Jewelers District, by the city's south gate. Just look for the gold in the streets. You'll see. Frithjofa may be the key to obtaining these relics Suter seeks. I must find him. Do as you must, Lord of Asgard. I have too many burdens of my own to worry about yours as well. Were you followed? I'd ask that if you have no plans to be of use to us, then continue on your path. My people need me.
So, Yvonne is dead. A pity. But Uldar may yet reveal something of value that I can trade for Baldur, or use against Surtur. They will attack on sight here. P and I we brought Balder here once to Uldo when he was just a boy. Now both are captives. Loki deservingly by my hand, and Balder by Sutur's.
soon. Show me what lies ahead. Bad.
Best not to draw attention here. Searching every last nook and cranny of the palace, eh?
Thor lends me strength. Guards here are vigilant. Get us in trouble.
doing here? This place is heavily guarded.
here. This area is off limits. Heimdals Eyður. Vel, nú vatt er til.
should not be seen in this area. Go! Now! Die well, idiot! You die now! to Claude. Seems he has been fighting for his father's approval. These were made to withstand some manner of beast, and clearly failed. What the hell is this filth? Burn marks covering the wall.
Show me. They will attack on sight here. I remember this was a lively city once. A place of great happiness. Gold in the street. Survey the area, Sunan. Gold in the streets. The house I seek should be close. This is where Gunborg told me to look.
gathered enough of these fragments. I wonder what a decent blacksmith can do with them. within Uldor. Therefore, dwarves who disobey may yet live. Like this Tira he mentions. Jewelry for every occasion. This building surely played host to important moments in the lives of many. And look at it now. The artisans who once worked here. Their life's work. How trivial these trinkets must seem now, given all that has happened. of Ivaldi tried to warn Frithjofer of increased Muspel activity in Uldor. I wonder, did he get to see this message? This place was used to exchange messages, but Frithjofer was careless. The Muspels found out, ambushed him, and took him from here to the holding cells. Then I need to get into the smelting foundry. These relics suit her seeks. I will seize them for myself and use them to barter for Baldur's life or to end suitors. Here, I can feel 
feel the smelting foundry's heat. I see why the Muspels keep prisoners here. Roast the hope out of them, poor bastards. Saved! Thank you! But do you have water? No. Now which of you is Fridjof? Fridjof? No, I am... Then I do not care. I'm looking for Fridjof. They... They took him below. You! Are you Fridjof? I don't know any Fridjof. Why didn't you just say you were Fridjof? might have gotten us out of here. Well, what do we do now? If we escape, they'll just capture us again. Or worse! Fritjova! Is that you? Fritjova! 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 Guard me, Mas! My dango here! No. You cannot be Fritjova. But you know of him. Then... Are you Tira? Tira? Yeah. Tira! Guard me, Mas, and I'm in the Hidabe! Tira! Fritjover! Do you even know where he is? Fritjover! Yeah! Fritjover! Tira! Wait. Wait. Do you understand me? We do not know any Marwas or us anymore. Just stay behind me and keep quiet. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Shh, shh, hold your tongue. Oh, shh, yeah. Tria, well, but to quit that. from no one. You don't die.
Now, to find Fridjova. Which way? Yeah. Uh, Fridjova. Uh, hey! Where do you lead me? Tira! Tira. Hmm. A good name. Like Tia of Asgard. Pretty sauna. Never mind. We should hurry. Where now to Frithjofa? Tere! Tere! Frithjofa! I swear, if you lead me astray, there will be trouble. Frankly, I'm surprised you could even see this mighty galleon from up there. A groin sunny bo gerechi digon of the asteroid e whiskochi. A keto damani. In any case, I don't suppose we can simply sail all the way to Frithjofa. Nah, I'm very odd enough. We should call Guara the Tig Guntav Akagesoiv. Then, the saga of Harvey and Tira begins. Don't say anything too noteworthy. As a good lass, let us find this relic. Let any in our bed, Frithjofer! Yes, yes, him too. Lead on. See them. Keep out of the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I was there. <laughs> Glod grabbed the poor fool's head and crushed it in front of us all. Not delay further. Take me to Fridjofa. Fridjofa, yeah! Tere! Tere! The language you speak. You're not from here, are you? Oh, Gien Clever. Pedro de Furth. Well, you picked a hell of a time to visit Svartelfim, that's for sure. Where do you lead me, Tira? Bleroy Blicharwine? At the Gimati Bord and Tali in Rusalu? Frithjover! Threatly mendi achim! Frithjover! That isn't... Very well. The sons of Ivaldi were active here, but no longer, I suppose. Bakanukid, Nuedig Ivaldi. No, they were not of much use to you. Or Fridjova. Or Ivaldi, for that matter. Let's go. Truly, I regret letting Svartalfheim fall to Sutra. And I've been more vigilant. Perhaps Balder would have never fallen into his clutches. Balder? Where in the Gasser Dan, do I? My son. As kind as he is naive. Let us hurry. Which way is it? Shit. Tarthorf, Marba. Tira. Wind Trio. Sign Weir and Gubod. That's what I get for trusting a dwarf. There must be a clue here. This main road continues north, away from Uldar. A road like this surely leads to another city. Ready, my dinner for this Savla Clothio. Oh, gosh, I bought an anghoer. The road heads west and has fresh tracks from a cart. Clearly in regular use. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm crazy anyway. I had to run for the over. There must be another way to be sure. Look around, Tira. What is this? Lettering, intentionally damaged, and written in a script I cannot read. Tira, can you make sense of that? Yeah, yeah! Frith the over! Frith the over! Tira! I find you impressive, Tira. Hmm? Eh? A lesser dwarf would only be interested in saving their own skin. Yet here you are on this journey, determined to save Frithjofer. Well, gallan nymt i hwnnw ddim achub eich hun nawr, a llef. I only wish I understood you, as you seem to understand me. When we get to our destination, be sure to stay out of harm's way, yes? Hmm. Can weld. Why did it have to be wolves? <laughs> Foolish beasts. Come, Tira. We must not delay. Yeah, yeah, Vinkubot. I will do what must be done. But the relic is what I seek. For now, Frithiover is no more than a stepping stone. I should not be seen in this area. Tira, have we arrived? What is this place? Is this where they dig for relics? Shh. Frithjover, yeah? You think Frithjover is here? Time to find out. Wait here. Thank you. 
area is off limits. Go, Zunin. Sooner rip off your ball sack and slit your throat than look at you, soft cock. Gunborg sent me. Your people and mine share a common cause. The relics. Well, I know of only one. Cursed thing. It blinded me. Where is it now? Get me out of here and I'll tell you where to find it. <sighs> Can you walk? I'm blind, not tripled. But one wrong step and I'll be taking a lava bath. <sighs> then I shall carry you. Die! <laughs> 
Stay quiet, Frithu. And you watch your bloody step! Are there other relics here? No idea. Tira? Oh, thank the stars you're safe. I'm all right, I'm all right. You know, all things considered. This one got you out, too. Enough prattle. Where is the relic? Not one for small talk, are you? Isn't that everything a dwarf says? Ha 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 ha! Not bad. Just uh, keep your breeches on, yeah? That relic I found? The Moospels have it. Took it to the palace, I'd wager. And what is it? Damned if I know. Moment I yanked it free from the ground, there was a blast of bright white light, and that was the last thing I saw. That's not what I asked. What does it do? Other than blind, unsuspecting dwarves? Dunno. Moosebulls didn't seem sure either. Hence taking it to that bastard scholar up in the palace. This palace. A Moosebell stronghold, I take it. You're a sharp one. Evaldi was commissioned there, long ago. Einar's there now. Piece of shit. He's the one who'll have your relic. Einar? Bitte sonam, Einar. He's... He's a traitor. A dwarf working for the Moospels. So don't you believe a word he tells you. You get a chance, you kill him. I shall judge who lives and dies. Where is this palace? If we're still by the dig site, you can probably see it. To the south. Modest little place. Sitting atop a great bloody rock? Modest little place indeed. Very well. I shall take this relic for myself. What will you do now? What's it to you, whatever your name is? If I find you have lied to the Lord of Asgard, I will want words with you. You? You're? Oh, oh my days. Uh, well, look, uh, I, I got nothing to hide. We'll make for the shelter. Go see Gunborg. Very well. If you're true to your word, then we shan't need cross paths again. Now you're free. What's next for you both? Reckon me and Tira will head over to the shelter, check on Gunborg. Just... once I'm ready. 
These last days have been challenging. Einar! Bill Tisornam Einar! Don't speak the traitor's name. Not to me. 